Hey there, good afternoon. I'm Lucas Bond with the Missouri Department of Conservation, and today we're talking prescribed fire. And I'm really grateful to be joined by MDC's Seth Berrios, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the importance of prescribed fire and how you can use that to benefit your land. So let me turn this along, turn this around, and we'll chat with Seth. All right, so on Habitat Hints today, we're talking prescribed fire, and I'm very grateful. This is Seth Vario. Seth, tell us why it's so important to use prescribed fire to help the land. Well, certainly, you know, fire is a great management tool for us. It do provides a lot of benefits uh, to the land, to the wildlife, um, but just as it does, it provides a lot of benefits, it can also uh, harm quite a bit of stuff and be catastrophic if not done properly. You know, we follow certain wind prescriptions. We follow the plan to ensure that we're carrying it out safely. We have an objective. Um, one of the big things here that we're doing today by burning this uh, old field is we're trying to remove that thatch. Um, you know, about every year or two, um, we, our prairies and our woodland systems really, uh, they, they, they caught fire to remove that thatch. You know, when we think about young grassland birds uh, or turkeys in our woodlands, you know, when they're only about an inch or a couple inches tall when they're born, trying to get through this heavy, thick litter, you know, it impedes their travel. So what we're doing here, we're creating some great uh, brooding cover for those young poults to move around. It greens up, it attracts a lot of insects that those young poults really depend upon. And then next year, uh, this area will become better uh, nesting cover for the for those birds. Now, Seth, I know we're talking burning right now, and today is a good day to burning, but kind of a lot of factors come into play with that. Can, can you kind of touch base a little bit on that? Yeah, so there, there are a lot of factors uh, whenever we do uh, look at trying to do a prescribed burn. Uh, a lot of times we really follow in on the uh, NOAA's uh, fire prescriptions, and that really tells us about wind speeds, gust, wind direction. You know, we don't want to put smoke out on roads, out on uh, high lines, and so uh, we'll follow that, but we also want to ensure good ventilation. We want to make sure that smoke's going up and dispersing out and not uh, staying real low where we uh, can potentially smoke out houses or roads. Now, Bernie, you know, we've prescribed fire has been used forever practically, um, but you know, this isn't just go outside and light something on fire for your land to burn it off. There's a lot of plans, a burn plan you need to follow. Where, where can people learn more about all this? Certainly, yeah, we, we definitely don't encourage you just to go out and light it off. Um, we definitely want to see people attending prescribed burn classes uh, where they can be uh, trained on prescribed burns, <coughs> but they can also, um, with that, the, our private land conservationists, our uh, uh, foresters, can write prescribed burn plans for landowners to burn off their open fields or their woodlands that they need. And those uh, are definitely helpful and, and useful for those landowners. Or contractors, if they choose not to burn it themselves, they can utilize a contractor to burn it. Now, you know, you're saying you're burning this off. How long? You know, we're thinking, oh, wow, we're burning this. How long before we can actually see some growth coming back to this? Oh, this will, uh, we have some 50, 60 degree days. This will be greening up in a week. No, no joke. Yep. Really, it's that yeah. quick. We can, we can see, we'll see, we'll see green shoots and stuff coming up. Uh, it doesn't take long. It's not, a, it's not denuded. You know, um, <coughs> when we think about fire here in Missouri, we're not talking about those big catastrophic fires that occur out west. These fires are typically lower in intensity uh, than those fires out west, and so it does. It's not like a scorched earth um, fire. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to know. And where can people learn more about prescribed fire and, and get more information if they want to conduct a prescribed fire on their own land? Yeah, so they can go to the Missouri Department of Conservation's website. Uh, there's information there on prescribed fire, but they can also go to the um, contact, uh, who's your local contact uh, part of the website, and they can find out who their pre uh, private land conservationists are or their prescribed forester is within that county. All right. Well, we really appreciate it, Seth. Thank you very much, and you all have a great rest of the day.